it has definitely been the summer of corn. It's been very wet, humid, you know what, a terrible summer altogether. Coming out of a terrible winter, <laughs> it didn't seem as if we were getting a break. However, the corn this year, the most juiciest, sweetest, plump kernels, boy. The thing real nice. In today's recipe, I will show you a method of boiling corn. Just plain old boiled corn, but we're gonna kick things up. This one takes me back to when I was a kid on the islands, and I would go to Lumsden, a place in Gasparillo, which is like the south part of Trinidad, late night to watch football or soccer, as much many of you may call it. And I remember, but there they would use grated coconut today I'm cheating I'm gonna be using coconut milk but stay tuned we're gonna make one of the most delicious boiled corn you'll ever taste trust me no man so now here's where the fun begins you know a nice big pot I've got all the silk removed and everything from these corn and again this is sweet corn not the sort of tough corn that we have down in the Caribbean so this will cook a lot faster so if you're using the typical um, Caribbean corn, it will take a little bit longer to cook. We're going to go in two scallions all chopped up. A nice big clove of garlic that I minced up. Nothing too fancy. Some parsley. And I've got about three or four sprigs of thyme. So we're pretty much seasoning this with a whole bunch of herbs here to get all that herbal niceness we're known for in the Caribbean. And what I did was I left back the sort of leaves or the trash or whatever you call it of the corn and we're going to instead of using a lid we're going to put these down on top of it. But first we've got to top this up with water, some fresh ground black pepper. And you will notice I will not use any salt, but if you want, you can certainly go in with some sea salt or just regular salt, table salt. That's fine. I'm trying to cut back on the amount of salt that I use. And I, to be honest with you, I just love the natural sweetness of that corn. One whole habanero pepper. We're not going to break that. We're not going to do anything to it. We just want the flavor to come out as it boils. And now we're just going to top that up with water. So now, we're pretty much covering the corn with that water. Remember, no salt. You can add salt if you want to. And here is where, when we would go to watch soccer or football games down in Lumsden, the ladies who were selling the corn would go in with freshly grated coconut. In my case, I'm just going to go in with coconut milk. Got a nice, lovely, thick, ooh, the coconut. Nice, too bad, boy. We're going to put that on the stove now to bring it to a boil. The pot is on a high heat now. I'm just going to move that around just so that coconut milk mixes evenly with that water that we have in there. This is seasoned beautifully. Next up, we're going to go in with those leaves or... What is the right name for this? Husk? I don't know. We're just going to put that on top and that's going to add some extra flavor to this boiled corn. Lastly, we're going to put the lid on there and bring that up to a boil. It's just coming up to a boil now, so I'm just going to move it around just to make sure all those nice herbs is mixed in properly in there. Anywhere from 7 to 10 minutes and I'm done. That's it. I'm not going to overcook this. In some cases, I even go 6 minutes and then I turn it off. These should be all done now. Nice, plump, juicy grains of sweet corn. If only I had some shadow benny, I'll put some shadow benny in there. Bandania, culancho, those are the other names it's called. I'm just going to turn off my stove. No need for salt. Remember that. We're holding back on the salt today. Guys, best corn recipe you will ever have. So there is that habanero pepper that we started off. Notice I did not break it. You break it, you risk it getting very spicy, very peppery, and quite honestly, not all that great. 
Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure to have you guys in the kitchen with me. I do hope you give this boiled corn recipe a try. It is so tasty and a different way to do corn all together. Remember, no need for salt. If you want, you can go with a little bit of butter, but you know what? You don't even need that. The coconut milk in there is going to give you that nice buttery, creamy flavor to it all. Mmm, delicious for these. Remember to check out CaribbeanPod.com and click subscribe if you haven't already done so which means you're gonna get all the latest videos as soon as they go live here on YouTube have a good one guys